I mean, my sister recently did her birthday, and she actually told all the men to come in a red bow tie. And it was so interesting to see all of them come in a red bow tie. They really look colorful. Yeah. yeah, it really so, stood out. So hold on. Out. Let me ask you. You say come in a red bow tie. Yeah. Are you allowed to wear any color of suit, but the t the bow tie must be red? Interestingly, when you're doing black tie, your suit is usually black. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can do red. But, you know, technology has come, fashion has come, style has come. So you can now get tuxedos in brown, in wine, even white. And that is still okay for your black tie outfit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but most times you find when you have the cream colored, white colored, wine colored, or brown colored jacket, the trousers should always be black. It should always be black. Don't go and put on any other color with that. It's going to look really off. <laughs> it's really going to look But black clothes. And you know, your tuxedo trouser, you know it from a distance. It always has a black band down mm. the middle. And you know yeah. that it is, yes. And you know that it is definitely, you're dressing up for an occasion. And they seem to have this uh, yes. shiny so part of it. They have this the shiny, silky, silky, velvety part there. Usually the lapel is sharp. Mm. The lapel is usually sharp. Sometimes you can get the rounded one. But you can tell, like, again, from a tuxedo jacket, the lapel is usually a different fabric from the rest. That's the shiny part that we're talking mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. Pop a, um, a, lap, um, a, a rosette, pop in your pocket square. It just brings it out a lot more. And it's sharp dressing. You know, when you see an environment where all the men are in bow tie, you can just see the exquisiteness of, mm -hmm. <laughs> of the way they're dressed and the importance of, a, of the place. There are some men now that use bow ties as their signature look, which is also fine. If you are happy to wear a bow tie every day, then that's your personal signature look, and it's okay. You know, but you just make sure that on it black tie the occasions... Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, yes. They went to the office. <laughs> then it's fine. Um, but remember, your presence is key. When you know you're in a black tie outfit, you can't afford to be sloppy. You can't afford to be slouchy. You actually must represent your presence. So you're in a suit, you know, walk the walk, talk the talk. Mm. That's the whole idea behind the black tie etiquette environment. And I, I would say it doesn't really matter. I say variety is the spice of life. Even if you're into um, traditional wear all the time, nothing wrong with at least investing in one suit because there will be a point in time in life where you may just need it. Mm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, so we have uh, gold and Different black colors. Yes. yes. Um, silver. Right. The red I talked about. Mm -hmm. Now, I also have to mention one thing. There, funny enough, with, with bow ties, there's actually um, a strategy for tying them. And it's quite complex. So nowadays, you buy your bow tie ready oh, made. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you find a band at the back mm -hmm. and a band like this. Now, if you put it on straight away like this, it might not fit your neck. It might so be too tight. So you but fortunately, it. you can now adjust it to fit your neck. So sometimes you see some men wearing the bow tie. It seems to be hanging loose on their neck. It's because they haven't actually or some adjusted some too it. tight. Uh, some too tight, and it begins to squeeze mm. the collar. Mm. So, um, most times, it's practice makes perfect. When you put on your bow tie, just learn how to adjust the neck to make it suit you best. Yeah. Okay, Janet, we will take a moment <laughs> and when we come back, right. we'll look at the rest of the colors. Okay. When's the best time to wear these other colors? <laughs> we'll be back in a okay. moment. Good. Please don't go away. Ladies, we know we like our comfort, but did you see those young ladies walk into the restaurant totally inappropriately dressed? One of them is coming from the spa, so she decides that she comes down to the restaurant with her robe. What about the lady wearing her lovely, skimpy little shorts? That's an absolute no-no. A young gentleman. Hmm. This looks sumptuous, but can you imagine they're here for a business meeting? When you eat all of that, 
you're only going to go back to your office and do what? You get it, you're going to sleep. But this is what we see all the time. People go to restaurants, people go to functions, and they pile their plate up. You know you're not going to eat all that food, so why pile it up? But you must remember one thing. Buffet means you can go there back time and time again. It's eat as much as you like, but eat it sequentially. Talking about starters, main meal, and dessert, the young gentleman has mixed it all up. He has his starter, which is the salad, as well as his finisher, the dessert, all in one plate. That's a no-no. Your main meal always is starter, salad or soup, main course, and then the dessert comes after. Welcome back. So, Janet, we were talking yeah. bow ties. Now, we've talked about the black one, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but we have multiple colors there. Yes. Yeah. Uh, besides making a bow tie your signature look, like I see some people, yeah. that, and they look sweet. Mm -hmm. Former CBN yeah. governor, mm -hmm. the, I think the former, C, the former chairman of the NESG in the Economic Summit Group, a number of people. Um, yeah. Philip, Mr. Phillips, a couple of people look that way. Yeah. So, when is it right to wear the other colors besides making your signature look? Even if you go to a black tie event and you decide, for instance, this is blue, it's got a touch of black inside, there's nothing wrong with wearing this on a black tie. Black tie doesn't always necessarily mean it should be black. Um, it's just that it's common. Black is more common for people to have if they're going to invest in it at all. But nothing wrong with wearing this color with your white shirt, your wing, shirt, wing colored shirt, your tuxedo, or your black suit, as the case may be. And as you see, this one is... Um, teal color and it actually has a pocket square to match with it mm -hmm. so you just add it to your um, to your your, your pockets yeah. and for the bow tie it's nice normally when you're wearing other um, normal um, ties um, I would say do a completely different pocket square from your tie bring out a bit of flavor and color but with your bow tie you can actually have both together because okay. you can buy it like mm -hmm. that so your pocket Sometimes square come with um, cufflinks, cufflinks as well yeah and so your colors are up to you and interestingly, you can add a waistcoat to go with it, or you could add, like, this one has a waistband. So this waistband even upscales your look even more, you know. It just completes that look entirely. Mm -hmm. So this waistband, if you're wearing a waistband, don't bother putting on a waistcoat. So it's okay. either or. Mm -hmm. So your waistband or so the your waistcoat will not cover up the Absolutely, waistband. Absolutely, yes, yes. And then you find that some men actually will wear suspenders to hold the trousers and then the jacket covers it. So it depends on what you like or your belt. Most tuxedo trousers have no space for a belt. Check it out. Okay. Mm. Now, the yes. other side is, can someone wear, I've seen someone do this, wear yes. the suspenders and then wear the waistband? Um, it looks tacky. It I looks have tacky. seen it myself. It does look a bit tacky. Um, but I would say if, if, if it's fine. If you're not going to be walking all about the place with your suspenders showing. Most times when you're wearing suspenders, the jacket is covering. Mm -hmm. the, the, so if, if you're comfortable wearing the suspenders and it holds the trousers up, because like I said, with tuxedo trousers, there's no space for, for belt. belt. Yeah. You have to actually get your real size. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to wear a jacket on and the suspenders are inside, nothing wrong with it. By the time you put the, um, waistband. the waistband, it actually covers the suspenders. Mm -hmm. So it looks neat and you look sharply dressed. You know, okay. mm. but with ladies too, it's not just about the gown. It's also about carrying an elegant bag to go with your dress mm. and nice fine jewelry that complements the look of a man. Don't forget he's sharply dressed already, mm -hmm. so you don't you don't want to just throw on a gown. Make sure that your accessories actually also complement your outfit. So a nice clutch bag, no big bag, please, with your <laughs> no, <laughs> with travel your gown, bag. no travel bag. <laughs> clutch bag is fine. A nice decent clutch bag and then fine jewelry. Sometimes your gown might not need any jewelry on the neck at all because there might be embellishments here. But maybe we'll so have to talk about that some ears. other day we because do. I see um, you have um, so much embellishment yeah. on the dress and Diamond then you tape. still put... Not necessary. No, just go with the earrings and you're fine. Mm. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. But it's interesting because a lot of people still don't know. When they see black tie, actually, they ask me, what am I supposed to wear? It's a black tie occasion. So with ladies, always remember a long gown is important. And with men, it's easy to spell out for you. Black suits, 
tie and the bow. Mm -hmm. And it's strictly a bow tie, mm -hmm. not. Yeah, I did. No, no, no. Strictly not a bow full tie. tie. Yeah. If you're going to do bow tie, do the whole nine yards and wear the bow tie. Don't complement it with a normal tie. <laughs> 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 that's my that's my my, my thought behind it. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Janet. You're welcome. And we'll hope to see you, Janet, again next Saturday. Yeah. Tell us something else. Are you going to give us a teaser? Ah, hmm. Uh, okay. I'm wrapping it. I'm wrapping <laughs> we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Thank you, Janet. You're and welcome. Too. Look at Black Tie Etiquette. Sunrise will be back in a moment for the home stretch. As I said, it's going to be a practical one. Our artist of the week is going to be doing some things you want to do too.